And Brianna Daniels joins us from Daytona. Brianna, the word pioneer has been thrown around a lot to describe what you're about to put on your resume. How does it feel to you and what does it mean to you to have risen to the level of cup? Uh, this feeling is surreal, honestly. You know, as soon as I got in the sport, I immediately asked, you know, Coach Phil Horton, you know, how long does it take to get the cup? Because I'm already, you know, focused on trying to get to the top. Um, he's like, you know, it takes, I want to say on average about three to four years. And I told him like, oh no, like I want to get there sooner than that. So, you know, just seeing all the hard work that I put into the sport every day, changing tires, just weight room sessions, like all my hard work is finally paying off. And it's exciting. Glad Breaking that you mentioned Phil sport. Horton because uh, at Norfolk yeah. State, he was the one that was absolutely just destroying you with those workouts that we actually featured you in a couple of years ago. So take us back to that moment. And did you think after that you would rise to the cup level this quickly? Um, honestly, I didn't think I would get to cup this soon. But I mean, it happened quicker than I thought I would get there. But, you know, I'm not complaining. You know, all my <laughs> hard work is really paying off now. and. Just thinking about like how things were back then to how they are now. I mean, I hadn't even touched the impact wrench back then. <laughs> so I, I really came a long way. How have you been received at each level when you've joined these teams and you've had to sort of pay your dues? How have others looked at you and how have you sort of been received mm -hmm. from your teammates and such? So ARCA level, that's where I started out. You know, that's like below NASCAR. Uh, when people saw me walking around the tracks there, they were looking surprised, like, you know, I, I tried to read them, but not too much. You know, people really aren't used to seeing, you know, someone that looks like me, you know, at a, at a race, you know. So, you know, I got a lot of stares there. Uh, that was my first race in Nashville, Tennessee. And then the more people kept seeing me, uh, eventually, you know, I moved to Xfinity. The more and more people started seeing me, the more, like, people are still looking and still staring, but they're not like surprise stares, you know. But I feel like I might get that all over again tomorrow during the cup race. <laughs> you beat me to it, which was what are you expecting? So. You are at the house that Earnhardt built. You're at one of the greatest stages in NASCAR. There you are front and center. What are you expecting when, yes. that, green, when that flag goes green? A lot is going to be going on. I know that much. I know it's going to be like, what, hundreds and thousands of people there. 100,000 people <laughs> and I can imagine like what's going to be going on around our pit stall you know the pit stall that me and my roommate are in there's going to be a lot going on but I'm going to be focused on you know doing my job and changing those tires and finally you have a lot of people in Hampton Roads that have been following your story and they're all cheering for you and they're all watching you what if anything do you have to say to everybody in Hampton Roads that has been somewhat inspired by your story um to just stay tuned and uh Thank you for believing in a little brown girl like me who's <laughs> making a difference, you know. And what I'm doing is, you know, it's much bigger than me. So that's why I'm happy to be in this position, knocking doors down, breaking barriers. And every day I pray, you know, about this. I always say, you know, I uh, hope that, you know, God allows me to continue to break barriers and to accomplish, you know, things at the highest level at NASCAR. So, and that's what I'm doing tomorrow.